Mm -hmm. Well, right now, the county school system has uh, a number of options for elementary school kids if they want to um, take a language, or actually, it's probably the parents who want their kids to take a language. Right. And there are immersion programs in three different languages in the county at uh, different elementary schools. And, and which, and that's, that's Spanish? Spanish, French, and Mandarin Chinese. Okay. And so there's two for Chinese and French and three for Spanish. Mm -hmm. And you apply for them. I mean, there's some kids from the home, home district and then, but people apply and I think okay. they're selected in the lottery. And they're what's called partial immersion for the most part, that if you're in the Spanish immersion, you're gonna get some of your subjects in Spanish and, mm -hmm. and some in English. I mean, one issue that does arise is when you start a language in elementary school, um, whether the articulation pattern stays there, basically. So if you were in a French immersion program, is your middle school going to offer French? And it's okay. probably, especially with Chinese, which is less That's a common. great age wait, wait, for kids. Go there, I think there's a, there's a website that I want to make sure that we talk about. What is that website? Well, the website is actually the website of a <coughs> nonprofit that offers after school uh, foreign language classes, and it's biglearning.org, and many people know if its program, its language programs as FLES, Foreign Language in Elementary School, which has existed for a number of decades. In fact, right. FLES actually originated in your local school, which was then Parkwood Elementary School in 1952, yeah. and uh, very, very quickly spread across the county. And uh, I recently did a lot of some investigation into sort of the history of FLES, found out that it was a big deal because of the Cold War.